Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, June 11th, 2018. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Sometimes when you're an athlete, the best thing you can do is take on the underdog mentality because it makes you work that much harder when no one's watching. But you don't have to take my word for it. All you have to do is go ahead and ask Classic Physique standout Garrett Colho. Late last week, we caught the third year pro putting in some last minute sweat equity before he hopped on the plane to head over to Spain for last weekend's Veronica Pro, where he tried to add a few more points to his qualification score as we head down the home stretch to the Olympia. All three times we've seen him this year, Coho seems like he's gotten better each time out. And if he can get a few more things to fall his way, a trip to the big dance this year isn't entirely out of the question. In my opinion, having experience as an athlete in high pressure situations is one of those intangible things that gives you a huge competitive advantage 9 times out of 10. And in the history of this great sport, there aren't too many athletes who have been in more high pressure situations than Dexter Jackson. Over the weekend, the blade was spotted out at Gold Gym Venice cranking out a little bit of arm work where he looked to be firing on all cylinders in typical Dexter Jackson fashion. Don't let the fact that he's been relatively quiet up to this point in the year fool you, because by now even casual bodybuilding fans should know that Dexter Jackson is still one of the top three or four athletes on the planet at any given night. And now that he's out in golds in full scale prep mode, I think we'll start to see things really take off over the next month or so. So far this year we've seen some major shuffling of the deck going on in the figure division and apparently Ivana Avusik is ready to come along now and throw another wild card into the mix. Recently the Avusik camp released a short clip from one of her latest back training sessions where we catch the three time Olympian starting to round herself back into mid season form. After two tough preps for the Arnold and Arnold Australia it's good to see Avusik starting to get back in her groove again because if she's got any plans of improving on last year's 7th place Olympia finish later this year, there's no time to waste now that we're less than 100 days out. Back when I was competing I used to say that there was nothing like a good old fashioned Sunday morning squat session to finish your week off right. And apparently figure star Maria Diaz must have been listening. Yesterday we saw Diaz and company release a video from her latest leg day effort as the New York pro champ tries to transition her way into phase 2 of her Olympia prep. For Diaz this win probably couldn't have come at a better time because now she heads into the biggest show of the year coming off the best performance of her career with a ton of momentum and as long as she doesn't fade down the home stretch a third top 6 finish on the Olympia stage is definitely within striking distance. In baseball there's a reason why they bring guys out of the bullpen late in the game to hold on to the lead and it's just because some athletes just know how to close the deal better. And I can't even begin to tell you if 212 powerhouse Ricardo Correa is a baseball fan or not but I do know that he's already proven himself to be one hell of a closer. Over the weekend we saw the third year pro release a few new updates from his latest prep where we start to see signs of a guy we saw come in and dominate the Chicago and Vancouver shows last year. Up to this point we still haven't heard word yet from Correa and his team about where they'll be planning to touch down next to start their 2018 campaign off. But if he can start to get the ball rolling I wouldn't rule out a surprise trip to Vancouver 6 weeks from now where he can come back and try to defend his title. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.